This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 2301 statics, our exam number three, page number two. It was a truss, simple truss, and we're supposed to solve it by the method of sections. Here's the geometry and the loadings are this is a composite of all three tests versions. So we got three kilonewtons at these points B, C, and D, all three meters apart. Um, all the joints are labeled. So I want to know the forces in FG, CD, and DG. So I cut a section right there. And the first part of the problem was to draw a free body diagram that would assist you in solving these forces. And so you can take the section to the right or to the left of that section where you cut. But it's a lot easier to do it if I take this section to the right. So here's my free body diagram of that. And as you know, I like to draw the geometry of the member forces on the free body diagram. So, looking at FFG, it's going up 1.5 and over 3. So I take the square root of the sum of the squares and I get 3.35 for that hypotenuse length. Similarly for the force in DG, or for member at DG, I see that it goes up 4.5, 1.5 and 3, and it goes over 3, so square root of the sum of the squares is 5.41 for the hypotenuse, so it gives it that relationship. FCD is just horizontal. First thing I want to do is solve for the reaction at E, based on the whole truss. I say positive. Positive is counterclockwise, sum of moments about A to eliminate the forces at A. All I have at E is a roller, so I have a vertical force there. Sum of the moments about A is zero. It's all these are counter or clockwise rotations about point A, all these applied forces of three kilonewtons down here. So it's negative three times three, negative three times six, negative three times nine. Plus, because it's trying to rotate counterclockwise, is EY times 12 meters. Doing the math, you get this. Rearranging, putting all those negatives over there on the other side of the equal sign, I get EY is equal to 54, which is this sum, 9, 18, and 27, divided by 12 is equal to 4.5 kilonewtons. That is, of course, real predictable because I've got 3, 6, and 9 kilonewtons applied uniformly, symmetrically. So half the vertical load is going to go here, half of, of 9, half of it's going to go over there to A anyway. Next step is to solve for the, the forces in FG. On this method of sections, I generally want to take a moment about a point because unlike the method of joints, I can use moment equations to make my work a lot easier. I can cleverly look for moments about a point that eliminates a lot of the forces. First one I want to do is take a moment about point D. Counterclockwise is positive. If I take a moment about D, then I'm eliminating that 3 kilonewton force I'm eliminating C, the force in CD, the force in DG, and I'm even eliminating the vertical force in FG, the 1.5 over 3.35 component, because it passes through, its line of action passes through D. So that's really a, a nice point to take moments about. I get, only thing I have creating moment about it are the horizontal component of FFG, which is 3 over 3.35 FFG times its moment arm, which is 3 meters. It is trying to rotate counterclockwise, so it's positive. Plus, the reaction at EY 
which is 4.5. Also trying to rotate counterclockwise about point D, so it's positive, times its 3 meter moment arm. Doing the math, I get 2.68, multiplying this all out, 2.68 FFG is equal to minus, and moving this one over to the other side of the, the 4.5 times 3, which is 13.5, over to the other side of the equal sign, I get 2.68 FFG is equal to negative 13.5. FFG is equal to negative 13.5 over 2.68, which is equal to negative 5.03 kilonewtons. The negative sign means my assumption, which I should have mentioned early on. I want to assume my member force is in tension and then let my negative signs tell me where I was wrong. So negative 5.03 kilonewtons means compression in that member, FFG. So then I look at uh, the forces in CD. Some moments of positive about point G. I chose point G which is not even on my section but I can still sum moments about it over here because it eliminates the force in FG, it eliminates the force in DG because they both pass through there and all I'm left with is the force in CD and these two applied force and the reaction at E. So I get negative FCD because it's trying to rotate count, uh, clockwise about point G. Its moment arm is 3 plus 1.5 or 4.5 so it's negative FC times 4.5 minus 3 also trying to rotate clockwise about point G this applied force of 3 kilonewtons times its moment arm of 3 Plus, because it's trying to rotate counterclockwise about G, is the force at EY, which is 4.5, times its moment arm of 6. Doing all the math, some of the math, and I get negative 4.5 CD minus 9 plus 27. Then rearranging, putting the FCD on the other the side. I get FCD is equal to 18, which is the sum of those two numbers, negative 9 and 27, divided by 4.5 is equal to 4.0 kilonewtons. The positive sign means that my t assumption of tension was correct, so it's in tension. Lastly, I have the force in DG, counterclockwise positive, sum of moments about point F. If I choose point F, I eliminate the force in FG, I eliminate the uh, 3 kilonewtons here, and I eliminate the, uh, uh, well that's all I eliminate. And what also I eliminate is the uh, the uh, vertical component of FDG, which is the 4.5 over 5.41, because it passes through F also. So that's a good point to some moments about, equal to zero. I'm left with the horizontal component of the force in DG, which is 3 over 5.41, and it is trying to rotate clockwise, so it's negative 3 over 5.41 times the force in DG times its moment arm of 3 meters minus the force in CD which I just solved for up here which is 4 and it's trying to rotate clockwise so it's negative times its moment arm of 3 about point F plus because it's trying to rotate counterclockwise the reaction at EY which is 4.5 times its moment arm of 3 do all the math negative 0.555 FG, FDG times 3 minus 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 times 4.5 is 13.5 continuing with the math negative 1.66 FDG is plus 
Move that over to the other side of the equal sign. FTG is equal to 1.5 divided by 1.66. 0.901 kilonewtons tension.